I'm trying out new equipment today. This is the first video I've made on iBasic IP using this new equipment and I still don't know how it works. Right, here's another vacuum. Predictably, I've lost my box cutter again, so I'm going to have to hack away at the box with a rusty blade. Oh no! The bane of my life. The bane of my unboxing life. Look at them. Just look at those. I'm having a nervous breakdown, I think. Well, I'm due for one, anyway. Right, this is a, ta-da, a Moulinex Petty Vac. Where's it going to go? I can't see what I'm doing. I'm upside down. That's better. La da 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 da. You'll feel more at home with Moulin X. There we are. Oh, there. I unboxed and reviewed this to a fashion on my Rogers Bits and Doings channel. Now then, here we have some packaging peanuts. I only paid three pounds for this, plus postage. What is the point? What is the point anymore, folks? Oh my lord, it's even in its box. What's... What is the point? Now, I've only got this for two reasons. I didn't really want this particular one, um, because these are ten a penny. Ten a penny on eBay in the UK, despite the fact that I've seen some selling at £40, claiming that they're rare. Well, this person who claims this is rare should check out eBay and see, no, they're not rare. And the one he's selling, or she, isn't even new in the box. Nor is this. It's used. Well, that was unexpected. I had to change cameras. Did I mention I was um, using a new camera setup and microphone? Well, the battery's gone on it. And unlike the camera I've had to switch over to, once the battery goes, you can't switch to mains, you have to charge the battery. So it looks like I'll be forking out for more batteries for that. Oh, I don't know. I think I might just, just give everything up. Just become a hermit, sell everything, just live on bread and water and be done with it all. Anyway, for now, I'll still unbox stuff for you. This is a Moulinex Aspirateur number one. Very, very common. They're not rare at all, Mr. Selling it on eBay for £40, you mug. Well, no, he's not a mug. Now, I didn't particularly want this particular example, particularly, because I wanted the orange one, really. Now, I only bought this for this. This, these bits. Not for the vacuum. Now, I unboxed either earlier on my channel or you haven't seen it yet, but I unboxed another Moulinex handheld vacuum that was missing, I believe, the crevice tool. And now I've got, oh, it smells. Now I've got the crevice tool, I don't think it's the right color. I think it's more white, the one I wanted, so that's wasted. But anyway, who cares? It'll all go in the bin. There's another, uh, that's a, they're Moulinex, but that's a Moulinex, I can't get over that smell. There's a Moulinex brush attachment doobry thing. There's one of them for some reason. Ugh. Well, I think, ugh, what on earth? Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Ugh, look at that. That's going straight in the bin. So I'll chuck that out of the way. And that's not much better either. That, that's a little better than that one. But I'll keep that one. So I've got three spare tools. But I don't think now seeing them they'll match the one I wanted it to match, but never mind. And we've got this rather fetching mesh bag with a Sainsbury's label on. That looks vintage Sainsbury's. Produce of Spain. That's uh, some Spanish oranges. Did the Spanish or No, I expect they did come in this. But I think if you were handy with a needle and thread or a sewing machine, you could fashion a rather fetching pair of underpants. You know, if you want to have the wind, wind beneath your wings. 
Anyway, I'll, I will think I'll bin that. I don't really want that. That's probably, people are probably shouting, No, that's retro orange bag from the 80s. That's worth thousands. Don't put it in the bin. Too late, mate. Right, is this then? Oh, I'm coming over. All Cockney Sparrow. There's no, uh, I do, as I said, this is common as mook. And this is the brown one. I, um, I prefer, I've, I've had this in a blue colour, two-tone blue, which was brand new in the box. Um, I think I've also had it in the more, more common orange, orange and cream colour. But anyway, this is a brown one. I was just about to sing a Boney M song, but I think I'll, I won't bother. That's not bad. Uh, that's the doobry thing with the slide off thingy-majig there. So that's the first tool. A lot of these don't look used. Oh, but the spider has made its home in there. But that looks pretty good condition. The brush is on that. Nice soft. This would have been made in France. But that's a decent, super silky soft dusting brush. Uh, two tubes. One plain tube and another that I think incorporates the flex rewind thing on it. Ah, look, looks like it's got the um, little instruction book. Hmm. Doesn't actually show it. No, that's odd, isn't it? It doesn't show how to store the cable. I don't think there's anything missing. Hmm. There's that. Oh, there, I think. Crevice. And another little doobie. I think that's all complete. Is it? This wouldn't have had a floor nozzle. This was a hand vac. No, it's got everything. This was a hand vac for your car, etc. Eww. Dirty. No, now it's on box. This is model 237. So here it is. Yuck. Very light. Very thin cable. Oh, looks. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Yeah. I think I'll get another one. Look, it only cost me £3 plus postage. I'm not bothered. The cable's a little bit curly whirly, which isn't very good. Looks like there may have been some sort of a, a repair. There's some glue showing. Those people in the French Moulinex factory, I don't think would have left it in that condition. I've always wondered what that's about on these. Do you know, folks? Is there, are there any Moulinex experts? I've always wondered, do you... No, you see, it can't hold a tool. Um, oh, no, does that go on? No, I don't know what that's about, if it's for anything. Um, that's 150 watts, 150 watts of powerful suction. Ooh, uh, that's a shortened Moulinex trademark, the MX there. Double insulated, made in France. En France. Uh, 50 hertz. Let's open it, shall we? I think it's a twist. Is it? It's a twist. Uh. <coughs> there. Uh. <coughs> it's bagless. Bagless. There's a little thing. Ooh. Can you see me? To stop any muck from falling out, in theory. Because there's no bags. No bags to buy. Just this little filter here. Yuck. How does that come off? No, it's not as... Is it a screw? No. I think you just... How do you pull it off? Let's check the instruction book, folks. We must check the instructions. Use as a handheld cleaner. Use as a lightweight electric cleaner. Ah, to empty out the dust. Blah, 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 blah. Unscrew. Empty the... Brush the filter bag fitted to the appliance. Oh. Oh, maintenance of the filter. They, they call that a filter bag. 
It, it uh, should be shaken and brushed, but never be washed. Hmm, don't wash it, folks. It says 86 on the instructions. 286. Anyway, I won't attempt to pull that off because I don't think um, I could use another vacuum. Have I got one to hand? I have. I have got one. As luck should have it, surprisingly enough, folks. Here we are, and funnily enough, from some retro tech right up to the modern day with lithium iron cordless technology from Shock. Right. It's a bit clumbersome for this, but we'll have a quick go. That'll do for now, won't it? Pop that away. Oh, I know which one I'd rather use in my home. This one. Right, that's a bit cleaner. A rudimentary clean up. It's got very old plug on. I bet the plug is older than the cleaner. You see a lot of people, they wouldn't have bought a new plug when they bought a new vacuum. You had to buy your own plugs back in the day. A lot of people would have just cut it off the old appliance or found an old plug in their shed and I think that could be what's happened in this case oof this is a very old uh, MK not uh, no insulated pins that became standard at some point the live and neutral pins are now insulated um, that is a very old looking plug now it's not cracked that will clean up quite nice that would be good for an older vacuum, but it's not in keeping with this one, it's too old for this. I will risk it for a Swiss kit and plug it in. Who cares nowadays? I'm beyond caring. Electrocution, well, you know, that's just one of the, I was going to say, perks of the job of unboxing vintage stuff. It's not a perk, is it? Uh, it's a risk anyway, it's a risk one must take in order to show you what you want to see. Looks pretty good on the viewfinder. It is a bit dirty. Did I show you the switch? Just a little thumb switch. Very light. This would have been quite a popular little vacuum back in the 80s. Let's move out that out of the way. Let's plug it in. I'll do the old, you know, light the blue touch paper and retreat type of thing. So let's pop it down and we'll uh, plug it in. Da, 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 da. Right. You'll feel more at home with Moolenex. Right, off at the wall. Plug in the plug. Right, folks, it'll probably jolt a bit. Let's hope I don't get electrocuted. If you hear me scream, you'll know what's happened. Well, it did more than, <laughs> poor, it did more than jolt, didn't it? It did a roll over and die, showed its underbelly. Okay, well, it seems to work. It's, it, it was a bit, uh, a little bit sort of mm, not so smooth running, perhaps, as it should be. I'll risk it. I'll risk it, folks. I'll risk, poor God, there's a lot of dust now in the air. Dear. 
was expecting a little bit more suction. And that, I know folks, look. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we see? <laughs> Let's see if we can pick any of this up. Well, I thought it'd pick up more than that. Have I blocked it? Hang on. Doesn't like that, does it? Don't like it. Oh, well, there's plenty of capacity left, but it just doesn't gets gets blocked up look Ooh, bit of a bottleneck there never mind oh wonder if it'll do well we'll just quickly try it without anything on with just the just the hole pretty poor this is just another one that's going to be shoved in the garage for now takes one bad apple, doesn't it, to uh, stop the others going in. Oh well, never mind. I wasn't expecting miracles, and I didn't get them. Right, that'll do. You can use it with the tubes if you want to. Like this. Hang on, like that. No. No, yes. Oh, heck, no. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, let's put that there. Yeah. There we go, that's it, I've done. I'm done for now, folks. Let's unplug it in case it decides to blow up on me. Oops. Oh, dearie me. I don't think the shark actually would um, be very good on the uh, the big bits. Let's see what the shark does. I think it'll be worse actually than the Moulinex. More suction though. Oh, only managed, only managed two before it blocked. Not surprised at all. Wasn't expecting it to it's a much narrower cleaning uh, air path in the old shark, well, the new shark. Don't know how much you'll have seen of this at the time of making this video. I might be taking this on my holiday with me, I don't know. It's pretty good for cordless, but uh, I don't know, I prefer mains power. But for your quick whipping around, it's pretty good. Now, that's it then folks, let's clear the decks of all this rubbish and we'll do a final glamour shot, as if we can be glamorous with this vacuum, but anyway, if you want one of these in the UK, ten a penny, ten a penny on eBay, you will find them. They're sometimes called Moulinex Aspirator number one, or somebody might just put Moulinex number one. Or they might put Moulinex Petty Vac, because it, it used to be called Petty Vac, I believe. I remember being, it being described as Petty Vac in the Argos catalogue. This was a sort of vac back when I was a kid that would have been within the sort of reach if I was to save up my pocket money. You know, I might have been able to get one of these. Don't think I ever did. But um, nowadays, of course, Kids get everything they want. I want a brand new Dyson V8 mummy and daddy. And they say, of course, you can have it, don't hit us. You can have whatever you want. But in my day, no, you couldn't have whatever you wanted. You had to wait for your birthdays and Christmas. 
Or you had to get yourself a job or do jobs around the house for your parents to earn the pocket money to buy your stuff. I had a, a very successful loan shark business when I was an early teenager. Uh, I used to uh, loan out money to two of my brothers and get a, a nice wad of interest back because they blew their wages, they got paid on a Thursday, blew them by the weekend and needed money for cigarettes etc. And who did they come to? Roger the Loan Shark. So there you go, that's the Mullinex Petty Vac. Sorry about the uh, trouble I had. So the first little bit of this video would have been recorded on my new camera and microphone and the rest of it on the old. It'll be interesting to see if there's much of a difference. I don't suspect there will be. And I think I've wasted a lot of money on something I thought I needed. Story of my life. See you all very soon. Bye for now.